All right, what's going on? So I'm bringing you a commentary of the battle for Gilneas. Uh, we're Horde. We started Horde side. We kind of have a weird comp right now. We didn't. We only had a couple plate people. We have a prop paladin that's going to be guarding our mine area. Uh, we're, our strategy is just to take everyone except the prop paladin and just zerg freaking waterworks. And then we have a couple recappers who, if uh, our tank at mine calls for it, he can. Head, they can head back there and help them out. But so, my job is just to fan and Ives the flag for the most part. I'm not really concentrating on killing healers. I start on them and I call out targets, and then I switch back to the flag. I kill that resto pretty easily. We had our uh, one of our priests on the flag too. That probably went in the thing. I'm like, ah, oh, just switch to the druid, fuck him up. So I'm calling out targets, and the healers that I, or the add-on that I use is called Healers Have to Die. Just get it. Everyone who plays raided or even regular battle rounds, it's insanely helpful for choosing targets. It just identifies who who is healing the most and allows you to easily target them, putting a, a like a plus on their head. All right, so we pretty much have waterworks under under control, but our Prot person didn't call out invent loud enough, and so they're already halfway to capping mine before we even realized it, which is bad. So we we kind of fucked up there. So right now we're like, oh shit, let's get back there, and get to farm. And then by that time, the mine was pretty much fucked up. So I knew there was a druid over here, so I kept using my sap macro. I said just go in here because I know he was resto. Um, we're trying to just kind of ninja this quickly before they can regroup from mine. So we tried it CC, but with two there, it's pretty much impossible. So we're going to have Kofi will try to ninja the flag. I'm going to try to stun lock the druid. Keep him. I blinded him right there. Switch back. He gets a fucking lay on hands, I believe. We're like, oh, this druid's going to die now. So we get on him, finish him off, and I think we they see. Oh, and yeah, and our holy paladin got a, a nice cap off there. Their paladin and druid both fail right there. I mean, you can't let that happen. I don't even think they were CC'd. They just didn't even do it. They just were like, well, whatever. We suck. So now they're uh, we got lighthouse under control. They're probably gonna hit uh, waterworks. I believe that's where we go next. And for for time's sake and for size of the video, I had cut it out all the running parts, so just getting right back into where it's at. So right here, there's a lot of waterworks. I'm just trying to fan and the flag, keep them off it. Uh, druids are fairly easy to kill in raided. I don't know what the, if it's just like a fluke that we had like two bad druids in there, but it seems like out of all the classes to kill as healers, the druids were the easiest for us anyway. Paladins are, give us some problems, not as much as uh, like a priest. And we are running, uh, I think we're, we might even run four healer in this game, I don't remember. I know we have at least two priest healers and then we have a paladin healer as well. So here we pretty much squelch their waterworks uh, attempt. So we're kind of sitting strong right now, we just try to hold two bases. And rogues, I know it's like tempting to fan and Ives when you're trying to cap, but it really does nothing. All it does is break CC. I have that habit too, but I can't count the number of times I've seen rogues fan and Ivesing when we have the point. And we're not trying to cap, there's no reason for them to be fan and Ivesing. And I do it too, sometimes, but I'm getting better at it. So just only fan and Ives if you're trying to defend a node. Okay, Waterworks is secure. I think we hit Lighthouse. Maybe. Yeah, they hit Lighthouse really hard, so we got there as quick as we could. Just fan and, fan and I was in the flag. And actually, we've we've been running with uh, two rogues now. And that works so much better. Oh, man. Try to get two rogues if you can. Just because you get, like, double smoke bombs for Twin Peaks and stuff like that. And for this, the fan and Ives spam, it's just, it's just, you can't beat it. And in a clip coming up here towards the end... Uh, pretty soon here. I don't remember when, but it might be towards the end actually. There's a there's two rogues and they fuck up major. So okay, so we're just uh, 
Alright, so at this point we're still defending Lighthouse. Um, Fanonizing, blah blah blah. Uh, one of the things that's kind of nice too, if you don't have it turned on already, is to turn on, go into the options and turn on nameplates so you can see the little bars above their head. And also turn on uh, color uh, bar by class. I believe that's what the option is. Something like that. Color by class or something. Um, and that helps a lot with identifying who your your primary target's calling out. If you say Paladin Healer, this name, blah blah blah, you can get on them pretty quick. And also, you started doing is uh, using a focus macro. Well, not a macro, but you set a certain DPS to your focus target. And so, and target whoever they're targeting, either using the assist key bind or just by clicking on it. If you have that bind undone already, which I do. Um, so we're pretty much just cleaning up lighthouse here. Uh, you can also change your like my raid frames on the left side there. You can also color those by class as well, which is kind of cool. It makes it look a lot smoother. So they actually capped waterworks during that time. We had another miscommunication on vent. Apparently we didn't yell loud enough, or we didn't react quick enough. Trying to peel a little bit better than we used to, so I probably won't commentate during this section right here, just because it's mostly just us destroying them and recapping it. So I think our yeah, see our hunter got a recap right there, which is pretty nice. I don't know how that pally didn't stop it. So we we start to recap it. So now I'm back on Fan and Ives duty. If we had anybody come over, I believe we just. I do believe they keep hitting this, and it's kind of a long general battle, but I'll just let the music run and you can see see some PvP.
Alright, as we finish off these guys at Waterworks, I'll talk a little bit about kind of the strategies involved with Battle for, Battle for Gilneas, excuse me. Um, there's really only two strategies that I know of, and depending on how many healers you have, if you have four healers, a good strategy is to leave uh, your tank and a healer at uh, mine or lighthouse if you start as alliance, either way. And then the rest of your team hit waterworks. That's one legitimate strategy that works pretty well if you can cap waterworks. And another one a guy was telling me about was do the same thing except have your whole team hit the the other one. Like if you're at lighthouse, you hit mine, and vice versa. Um, and that can work, he said. But if you fail, you're pretty much a guaranteed loss. So I mean, really, that's the only strategy I've ever seen. I've never seen anyone split five and five. Um, and right here on the cliff, we actually lost Lighthouse for a little while there, and our Holy Paladin gets a recap while well, there's two rogues there. So yeah, they must have like uh, lost their uh, Fan and Knives button or something. So we get a recap there, and we pretty much just uh, keep them off here until we win. Which is very shortly. Um, so thank you all for watching. And hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a like and a thumbs up. And I'll keep making videos in the future. Thanks, guys.